with the Jackson Redskins. I'm watching. Are y'all watching? The number 23, Porsche, and he's across the field. Association. Got my sidekick here, Tim Ward. Tim, we had a good, good start to the to the uh, first game of the season, but as you know, just a lot of fumbles. Uh, you know, some, some things you got to get together. What's your assess of, assessment of this first week? Well, first of all, it's good to be back to get the season started. Um, yeah, sloppy, sloppy play, um, fumbles, uh, jumping outside, things that they should bust the first week. Um, I was also happy to see the fans, see the fans out come to support their babies. So those things were good. Uh, typical first week, typical Meister football. Uh, we had some good competitive games, had a couple blowouts. But all in all, first week, good week, good week. Yeah, this first week also had you know, a lot of overtime games. And so let you know how competitive it is you know, in Meister. But I think you know, uh, looking at the parents come in with their kids colored on, doing all that hollering and everything, I mean, I think that was the best part for me. Besides being so hot out there, but I think everybody came out. They have we had a good time. Some things we got to work on, no far as you no know, getting teams there on time and and uh, but far as how every team look, man, we got some teams looking real good out there. You know, right. uh, I in particular think my my best dressed team for Saturday had to be no Giants. No, I mean, they they yeah. looked real nice. They looked Gi real nice. Giants did look good. They look good. Um, and 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 they rocked three different jerseys with the three different teams. So they didn't even. Everybody didn't dress the same. You had the A team and the white and red, the B team and the blue and blue and white, uh, and the C team was in the red, red white. white. Yeah, and they, they looked nice. And I think, and I also seen the the, the Dolphins come out. They they had nice uniforms and right, everything. Right. I think they looked good. And uh, and I got a chance to look at the A team game, the Dolphins, and I seen a good comeback. No, no. Right. Right. Um, Coach Myron and them got them back pretty good, but it's all we had a pretty good first first um, day opening and everything. Right. Anything else you want to say about that first day? Well, the first week, like I said, we had to come back. Uh, the uh, Dolphins they were down uh, eighteen eight, I believe, and they rallied back um, against the Vikings again. Now the Vikings, you know, shouts out to them starting off the season in a, in a new league. They took the opening kickoff to the house. Oh yeah, set the tone early. Then they got the ball on the um, the first play, uh, their second possession, touchdown. And so it's like, okay, these guys they here to play. You know, you know, everybody knows that the coaches have been talking smack. So, so they came out to back him up. But also, uh, quarterback play. Uh, just quarterback, uh, Chris Scott. He looked like a quarterback. Oh, he yesterday. looked good. He looked good. No, he led those guys. You no, know, uh, past the Panthers in overtime. I mean, it was a good game. I think they won 13 to 6, 13 to 7. I mean, they didn't give up. They fought back and they fought hard. And, and they even come in their New Jersey, new white jerseys. <laughs> and that and, and got some new weapons. You know, you know, everybody knows about, you know, the guy called the most dynamic player in, in, in uh, Mysa. Uh, but he got help this year, man. He got a quarterback, got a running back, got a tight end receiver. I mean, they scored uh, passing the ball. Uh, so, you better watch out for that. You know, we had a battle of Canton, um, Canton, Mississippi, the City of the Lights, though. Right. And, uh, and the coast in the 18 coast, I saw some of that game with the Saints and their thing. And coast, you know, pretty much shut them out. You know, 13 to nothing. Uh, coast Sergeant they had those guys together. And I uh, give a you know, shout out to them. They uh, have good sportsmanship after the game. I mean, they, they displayed that good. And the Saints look good, too, in their new uniforms. I, so we had a pretty good first week in their thing. But we also had. The game of the week. <laughs> With the Cowboys and the Redskins, you know, uh, man, hard-hitting game. And everything. Tell a little bit more about that game. Man, the game, it lived up to the hype. You know, uh, Super Bowl rematch, you know, we kept hyping that up. Two competitive teams, two good organizations. Um, man, really, it was high, It was much high score than the, than the Super Bowl was. So this, this game was uh, offensive-driven. Uh, Rico, talking with Coach Rico out the game, he was kind of disappointed in some of the fumbles, you know, but that's just the coach being a coach. Yeah. But you look at Jalen Goodman put on the show. Uh, 
uh, Jalen Goodman. And, uh, he played excellent at quarterback. You no, know, he didn't. You no, know, he he led the team well and everything. But also on KP, you have to look about think about um, Demarius um, Wash. Right. You know, no number twenty three. He got in the end zone no first. I think this guy gonna be somebody to watch this year. Yeah. He gonna he gonna score a lot of touchdowns. I mean, this he's a hard runner. You know, you kind of know me. I like the running backs to run hard <laughs> like that. You know, right. hey, watch the wash. <laughs> <laughs> and, and dudes got speed, speed to burn, but. Typically, with any other game, with, with any game, you know, turnovers and, and defense um, sealed it for Rico. Um, his new his new addition, free agent from the 49ers, got two interceptions yesterday. So you know, and I know uh, the 49ers definitely missing about the, the game they played yesterday. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, but they missed them. They, speaking of the 49ers, a team that uh, you know them and the Giants end up with a tie. Right. You know, six to six, they try to get one over on the go double overtime. You know, they don't work in my regular <laughs> season. So, but it was a good, fall, a hard fought game. But I think that, you know, both of them got something to work on. And you kind of, first game kind of show you what you need to work on right. and everything. But the game of the week was an exciting game. The uh, uh, Redskins pulled it off, you know. Uh, and, but I think it could be a game if they meet again. I think it could have went in either, either way, though. Know? Right, right. At any point in time, and, um, anything he could have shaken it. Rico was uh, able to, to run the clock out basically at the end of the game. They, they got one final uh, touchdown to kind of put it away, but, you know, they had to grind the clock out to, to do that. It, it wasn't an easy win. KP got within one point, and um, Redskins got the ball and went down and were able to, uh, you know, put the game away. Right, and I think the first week in all, it was a good, you know, environment for the C team, B team, and the A team. So I think, you know, this week we kind of get back into our niche now. The, you know, mice of football, everybody don't see everyone, and right. we're back in Smith Wheel Stadium, and you know, and you know, back in the regular format. So I think everybody will be kind of got their nervousness out. Everybody see right. what who who got what now. Right, and going on now, give a quick preview of uh. Who was the game of the week next week? Well, our game of the week next week, you know, we're going to do a C-team game. And that C-team game, we're going to put out there, um, the, got the Ken Coats coming to town. And they're taking on the South Jackson 49ers. No, you have to say South Jackson when you say 49ers. Right, no. right. You know, so they're putting the, it's going to be a C-team game. And uh, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a good game. So what do you think about those two matchups? You know, the, the thing about the 49ers, traditionally, Coach uh, Beasley has those guys going. They play fundamental. A lot of times you see as players over the years, if they move up to the, to the B and the A team, you, you see the foundation they got. So Harvey definitely uh, has those guys fundamentally sound. And from their standpoint, you know, you know what the 49ers going to bring. What, what do you think the Colts going to bring? Well, I think Coach Sarger got a tough, tough C team. And I'm telling you, man, those guys coming to Jackson, I know there was a wash over last year. But those guys looking good this year. They're looking good. And the and reason I say looking good, because – they got a little more unity, and those guys are really coaching this year. So, with all that said and done, who you got for this week? You know what? Uh, I I gotta give the edge still to the 49ers, the, the Colts. It took me a minute, but I, I think the experience of the 49ers uh, go outweigh gonna come through this time. It, 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 the game may come down to coaching, and right now I'll still get an edge to the 49ers on that. Well, I'm gonna look in camera too here, and I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. That the Canton Coats come into town, and they're going to lead this town with a victory on that CT. I'm going with the Canton Coats. So, that's my pick. Okay. okay. I said it live here. <laughs> MSPN. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, though, so, after all that said and done and everything, you know, good first week. We got the game of the weekend. Now, we're going to check on, look at some of the highlights from the last week. Right. So, tune into these highlights, and we'll be right back. Covering on the quarterback keeper and he's in. Run up the middle by number nine. Hand off is up to number 23. Ross, he could go. He might go. Left in the first quarter. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Got a penalty on the play. Quarterback drop back to pass. Oh. Back, drop back. Pass is intercepted. Down the sideline. Ted Ward here, MSPN. We're here with Coach Gerald Simmons of the 18 Jackson Steelers. Coach, I got to buy the first week. I know you're excited to be back. You got to buy, so you got to wait one more week. 
How you feeling? I know you. I know you've been looking at the scenes. What you think so far? All of them look pretty good. I mean, the 18s all look strong. You know, it's the first game, so you look for those little mistakes. So I mean, for, for the most part, everything looks pretty decent. And who y'all got y'all first game? Can say. Can say. So they need to be ready. Oh, definitely. They need to be ready. I right, can you hear? He says you need to be ready next week. Tim Ward, MSPN. Tim Ward here, MSPN. We're here with uh, Coach Rico, the Jackson Redskins 18. The game of the week. The team won today, Coach. Uh, put up a good number of points, too, uh, which is what you are known for doing. Known with KP okay, is a close coach. battle defensive game. Uh, being the first game, you all scored the middle points. Number three on the it was, Tell me your opinions on the first game, because it, it was a great game to watch. Uh, well, um, I feel like uh, we played a pretty good game overall. Uh, we got out to a slow start offensively uh, in the first half. Uh, had three turnovers, wild fumbles. Uh, got to learn to secure the ball a little bit better. But uh, we came back the second half, put together some defense. Uh, I, I really commend the defense. They stepped up. Uh, KP made a good drive the first half, and the defense was able to uh, get a turnover down in the red zone. And uh, I really commend the defense. We stepped up, played good ball. Tell me about your quarterback today, uh, Jalen. Uh Running, passing, he seemed like he was doing it all. Uh, well, he, he, he's a guy that can do it all. He, he's a very versatile uh, athlete. Uh, he can come in and play quarterback. He's a leader. Uh, he, he can make adjustments when adjustments need to be made. And uh, like you saw, he made a good throw up the sideline. He made a couple of good decisions running the ball. He, he's an outstanding athlete. Quarterback keeper. And also, um, on the show earlier in the week, I alluded to your, your free agent acquisition. See, like he uh, got – Two uh two interceptions today. Oh yeah, uh, Rock was a he, he he was a big addition from the 49ers and uh he played solid defensively today. Two interceptions at the cornerback position and a uh, good return with him, uh, as well as being put in the backfield and playing tailback and making pretty good runs. I think uh, he made the head about 60, 70 yards rushing. Great job. Tell me about you know Brunson loves the, the, the big guys, the offensive line. And the defensive line. Tell me, tell me about your line play today. Uh, the line play, uh, I, I give them a plus today. Uh, it's hot. You know, first game of the season. We expected to uh, start out a little bit slow. But, uh, Coach for one, straight up the uh, middle. Running backs, quarterbacks, they all knew that they could run behind the big boys. And, uh, we got to get them a little bit better shape. But, uh, I give my line a plus. They did a good job. Okay. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. And uh, representing for the game of the week. And this is Tim Ward here, MSPN. I sure appreciate it, Coach. Y'all have a good one. All right. Thanks a lot. Tim Ward here, MSPN. We're here with Jalen Goodman, quarterback of the uh, Jackson Redskins. A three-touchdown performance, two running, one passing. Good day for you, man. Good way to open up the season. What, what was your mindset coming in? How did you feel about the game? feel great for the first game. Okay. What was the game three, plan coming in? Right you know, what, what were you, all, what were you trying to do to, to set the tone? We in the game. Uh, make make great game plays. Of the game off good. Okay, okay. Were you nervous coming in, Eddie? No, sir. Okay, so you pretty much got the nerve far down there. You know, you, you threw a nice touchdown pass. You know, what what, what was the route y'all was running? Was it a go route? Fade. Fade? Quick fade, left. Okay, and you know, you, you put it right on the money. Um, you're a quarterback that can throw and run. What do you like to do better? Run. <laughs> you like to run? Um, two touchdowns running, one passing. Good way to start the season, man. Just want to let you know, congratulations. Keep it up. And uh, you're watching MSPN. Quarterback drop back. Great highlights from the game of the week. Remember, you can purchase the DVDs. Information will be on sale online this weekend at www.msusports.com. Now, Mr. Brunson, it's time for the, the favorite part that people like. What, what, what part is it? My picks. <laughs> so the winning picks. <laughs> so this time we're going to go into uh, – our prediction for, and I want to put the disclaimer out there for the views and opinions that you're about to hear, as I'll typically of <laughs> Mr. Tim Ward and Robert Brunson, and not the views of Meister, and they're not professionally picked. So don't get sensitive on, on the coach. Yeah, We're going to be get, okay. We gonna, get, don't, don't, be don't cry. Don't cry. You know, if I don't pick you, uh, maybe next time. <laughs> Win and you in. <laughs> so, Tim, we got the first game of the week at uh, game uh, Saturday on the 18th. We got the Colts. Not the coach, but the Cowboys versus the Dolphins. Now, who you got on those? Cowboys and the Dolphins. Dolphins. A, B, and C. Uh, sweet. Sweet. <laughs> sweet for the Cowboys, Cowboys on that one and everything. <laughs> Bringing out the broom, the industrial broom. We, know we sweeping them up like the street sweeper there. On that, I think they're going to be uh, a wake-up call for the Cowboys. Right. Um, moving on next to we got the 49ers. A, B, and C. We've already picked the C team. 
um, 49ers 18 versus the Colts 18. Man. Who you, know, you got? I'm going with the Colts. I'm sorry. I, I just I, – I, I like the Colts 18. What I, what I saw said, a little disappointed what I saw the 49ers 18. I'm going with the Colts. Well, I want to invite you to the Blue and White fan club. No, I'm going <laughs> with the Colts too. I'm thinking the Colts going to come down here and they're going to beat the 49ers. And I'm saying the Colts going to make a statement this year and they're going to they gonna make the playoff. And they're going to start – they're going to beat the win number two coming this week. Uh, Coast 18. And they might well tell you the Coast B team going to win too. Uh, the 49ers B team, I watched them. Um, the Giants just, you know, kicked them to sleep last week, 24 nothing. So I'm thinking the Coast B team going to win too. Coast B team for me too. Uh, basically the same reasons he said. I, I didn't get to see the 49ers B team, but something about the Coast this year. I don't know what it is. Something about the Coast. Maybe want to may go with them. What about the Barrels and the Vikings, A, B, and C team? I'm thinking mm. sweep. <laughs> We're going to do a sweep on that one for the Bears. You know, Ray, they're going to win this one, uh, I think, hands down. Uh, I think the Vikings, you know, the first week was good, you know, but that was another new team you were playing. You got the veterans now. I know Ray and uh, and Coach uh, Darren used to coach together, you know, back in the days uh, and everything. Maybe a little animosity back uh, there. Yeah, I think he's going to be the uh, student and the teacher, and I think Ray going to be the teacher on this one. Okay. You know, say, okay. you know, hey, bring your apples, you know, for the teachers there. <laughs> you want you want to get blowed out. Those guys are gonna be ready. So, right. and we got uh, Titans and the Panthers, A, B, and C. Broom, <laughs> bring out the sweep. <laughs> We're gonna sweep that with. The, I'm thinking the Panthers gonna sweep that one and everything. The Vikings are no another week away from uh, probably first victory, and I, I think they um they got a lot to work on, especially the special teams. You know, that's the person that kicked the ball off and they received the ball. We got to work on that. I think uh, they, they watched the back of some numbers you know, on special <laughs> teams, don't, especially on the A-team. So. Right. Ne- next we got the uh, Broncos and the Redskins, A, B, and C. Yeah. I- I'm starting to develop a theme here. Look, yeah, you know, just like, like, feel like I'm a janitor or something, man. <laughs> hey, give me the broom. There's going to be another sweep. You know, the Redskins going to sweep them up. and They're going to sweep and mop them, though. Right. Uh, Barry, you coming up, but he came up that far, though. You know, So I know Orange County, you know, they're looking good and everything. But right. Redskins, you no, know, I think the Redskins on the mission this year. And all, all the teams, they their biggest competition going to be themselves. You know, everybody trying to get un, be undefeated when they, you know, try to get to the Super Bowl this year. Right. Now we got the Jaguars. Now Jaguars going down to Natchez, Mississippi. Now Natchez just pulled off a big 18 win. No, right. lost the B team on a heartbreak. It, but I think uh, when they go down there, who you got for this 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 game? You know this game. I almost wanted to go with a sweep for a minute, but you know looking at at, at the C team for the Jaguars, it was a very strong team last year. Good coaches. C team game. I'm going with the Jaguars. I'm taking the Jaguars. I want to get that out, wouldn't it? I want to get that out. But I'm going to tell you, for the C-team game, I'm going with Natchez with a sweep. Natchez going with a sweep. They got the new uniforms and everything. They got a new set of mind, mindset. Well, I'm thinking Natchez, it's time to wake up. You know, hey, there's been over three years now in, in the league, and I think they know how to play these Jaguars now. Okay, they well. played them three times last year, you know, <laughs> one when it really matter. Well, I'm, pick, I'm picking the Jaguars on the B-team, but I am picking – Natchez 18, you know. Uh, first of all, I want to get a Jaguars coach, uh, one leg said. One leg said. One leg said some props. Coach those boys out there. <laughs> coaching said. <laughs> but with it said, you know, uh, heard the Jaguars fans were a little sensitive about, you know, we said we know who was going to be yeah, coaching. You know, know. said know how we are. Yeah, we know yeah. we love them. We yeah. hope, want them to get back well and for you know, be on that sideline. You probably ain't supposed to be out there, Sarah, you know, according <laughs> to the doctor. But, uh, but I'm saying we're glad to see you know out there coaching and everything. Right. Hope you're feeling good. You know you popping no pills, try to get that pain down still by now. <laughs> but they good coaching, man. They right. good, great job. Good job, man. Good now job. we got the Steelers will be playing their first game this week against mm. the uh, in Canada against the Saints. So what do you think about that game? Well, you know the, the the Saints had a chance to show me something sad, and they ain't really didn't show me what I thought they were gonna show me. So you so know for me. It's it, it, like a sad song you've been singing. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> to me, it, it's back to the theme earlier, man. You know, Steelers, I mean, sweet for me, man. Yeah, I'm thinking, no, uh, no, black and yellow. Black yeah. and yellow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, they, no, I'm thinking the the A&C Steelers going to win, but I'm thinking the Saints B team going to win. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. 
you pick is the Saints B team. B team. To be Saints. Stand the man. The man that just won a Super Bowl with a different team with different well, players. You know, so you telling me these guys he got coming, some guys he know coming back against a new team? Well, you know what I'm saying? Last year, they had started out 0 3. He started out slow. So this is the best time to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> and everything, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm telling you, hey, Saints, don't let me down. Don't let me down now. Come out there and play. I'm picking the Saints B team. Okay, well. Motivation, baby. Yeah, yeah. you going for motivation. <laughs> uh, I'm sticking with the uh, Saints. Uh, you but still, yeah, still, yeah, still yeah, come on, come on nah, over. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, but I think this, you're going to be. Matter of fact, this might be a blowout. Man, we going to Canyon to blow nobody out. I'm not going to Canyon See the now, lights? but I'm just saying. See the lights, man, <laughs> no guys going to be playing home field turf. Yeah. Man, we're going to be in Nickel Stadium. We're going to be rocking in Nickel Stadium. Y'all welcome to come up to the, uh, check out these uh, Saints B team to pull this off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good Sounds to good. You. Sounds good. We're looking for an exciting week. Uh, it's going to be, you know, uh, this going to determine kind of like my, my top ten picks for next week. Uh, so I'm going to have that out on the on the website. You know? Yeah, because you know they're waiting on They're waiting on this. No, hey, I, I've seen everybody this week, so look forward on the website this week, the, the top ten pick, you know, and I'm going to tell you how this season going to go. So, hey. Also, also this week, we're bringing the stats back. We need you to input the stats. With your stats. Please, by 11.59 Saturday, Saturday night. night. So if you go to a JSU game, if you go to the club, whatever, 11.59, I need the stats in. Why? So we can highlight the stats on the show. We want to highlight the players and the coaches and everybody, but we need the stats. It's not just about the running backs, the receivers. Yeah. Give us the linemen that make a good block. Give us the defensive linemen that, that uh, the other team could stop. We need that information. Appreciate it, guys. Right, and we want to make sure you get those stats in. That's Saturday night. You know, get them in. You can go on the online on the website, msusports.com. Go on the coaches. You know how to do it, and, and you can print out the stat sheets from right there. Fill out the stat sheet. I know you care about these kids so much, so you want their name to be out on our website and call out you know, MSPN. So put those stats in. You know, and, and when you put them in, put some realistic stats in. You know, we don't want the guy rush for 200 yards and got beat by 47 points. You know, we don't want those kind of stats. We want true stats. So, you know, you got those stat people out there. So, so use them and uh, put those stats in. And also this week, this Sunday, we'll be on the road. Yeah. Our first road first show. Road show. First oh, road man, show. they're going to be hype in Smith Wheel Stadium at 3 p.m. on Sunday, uh, the 19th. So, we want everyone to come out. Uh, they're going to be you no know, free food. Come out and eat with us, parents. Kids, y'all come out and be a good atmosphere. I want to get a chance to talk to some of the parents, interview some of the kids, you know, talk to some of the coaches about, you know, their game. You know, I know someone's going to be kind of heartbroken because uh, they lost that Saturday night. Yeah. But what do you think about the first road show, man? Man, the first road show, you know, the road show is always cool. You know, I'm excited about it. We get to mingle with everybody. Um, and at this road show, everybody have, uh, well, except the Steelers, everybody have two games under the belt, so we'll – Except for the Steelers and the Broncos, we'll be able to get a chance to get a feel for how the season's going. Uh, you may need to give a, a a moment of encouraging words for teams that's 0-2 to tell them, you know, hey, the season not over with. But, you know, the road show's going to be cool. We'll you know, get the chance to interview some of the players. Some want to talk to some of the parents as well. So come out. Moms, it's a chance to uh, get Sunday dinner for free. So come on out to eat. You know, also I got a special announcement for the 18th for the game of the week. What's that? Yo, truly gonna be on the mic. Uh -oh. We're gonna I'm back on the mic at the Smith Wheel Stadium for that C team game. So we're gonna we're gonna keep the hype up the crowd and everything. So we're gonna be ready for it. You know, we want I wanna just tell you know that we appreciate everything you do out there, parents. So come out cheer for your kids. And most of all, watch this show because I'm watching. I'm watching. Are you, you watching? watching? Tim Ward here, MSPN. We're here with Coach Rod of the KP Cowboys 18. Team fell a little short today, coach, but it was a it was a, a great game, both sides. Uh, offenses, I know you the offense coordinator. The offense put up put up points. You were moving the ball. What were some keys uh, to to your success today? Well, our offensive line they did a wonderful job. I mean, we have maybe have some things to work on, but overall, I feel like they did a great job. And our our back, they ran hard and they stuck the nose in there. And I, I don't have anything to hold my head down about. about it. Right. Okay, and then back with it being the first Number game, three. we know from seasons past, you know, every team is totally different by the time the end of the season comes. Uh, what are some of the key things that you see that you just need to tighten up a little bit so you can go ahead and, and, and go ahead and get that first win of the season and, and get on that winning streak like we know KP does? Well, for one thing, we got a lot of players today with their first game. So, right. hey, it's like the coaches said, 
we, we, we expect a little nervousness out there. But hey, we're going to get back in there and practice. We're going to work on those things. The KP Cowboys, one thing we always going to be, we're going to be physical, we're going to be sound fundamental, and I know the coaches are itching to get back to practice. And we're going to correct those little small things. Okay, okay, cool. Well, again, we appreciate you for taking time out. Uh, like I said, KP has a, one of the best programs in MISA, and the coaches, the coaches do the things that they need to do. So uh, we appreciate you for coming out and doing the interview. And, uh, this is Tim Ward. You're watching MSPN. We're here at MSPN. We're here with Demarius Wash of the KP Cowboys 18, our game of the week. Demarius, you played a good game today, man. You had plenty, plenty of big runs and, and darting in and out. What was the mindset coming in? How, how do you feel about the way you played today? I feel great. Karai game plays and I ran them. I'm just glad Karai is my coach. Okay. So you mentioned Coach Rod. What, what confidence does he give you out there that you know that you know the, the players are going to work and you get a chance to do what you do? He tell me don't be afraid of tackles and just do what I do. Okay. Uh, team fell a little short today. What's something that you feel that y'all can improve on so uh, you'll, get, you'll get the winning like we know the KP Cowboys do? Blocking. Yes. We ain't have enough blocking and just need to block and pray. Okay. All right. First game, those things happen. You got plenty of chance to get, to get it tightened up. Well, appreciate you, man. Like I said, you had a good game, man. You know, the, the runs and things that you did, we just want to acknowledge you. This is Tim Ward here with MSPN. Welcome back to MSPN. You no, know, Tim, this time we're going to talk about the rule of the week. And our rule of the week is a, come from the parent code of conduct. And I know sometimes parents know they sign the back of that application and don't know, really just know, know about the rules and everything. But the parent code of conduct is pretty no serious, no. And we want to talk a little bit about that. For the parent code of conduct, we want to make sure that you don't bring no noise makers to the stadium, and and you can't use profanity in the stadium. No, no, t at no time. No, these are kids out there, and these are our kids. You know, and I, we appreciate you bringing your kids out, but we're gonna have to you know we have zero tolerance for no profanity, uh, threatening anyone like that. So we have a pretty good crowd, but we you know sometimes we have a few that you know, get to a point that you no, know, they you know get a little frustrated. It's just a game. Just a game, you know. We want to uh, curse around your kids. We don't want you doing either, you know. And also, when you come to the game, you cannot, you know, bring any kind of food items in. So I know a lot of times the coach don't get a chance to tell you that, you know. But you can't do that. And so we real strict about what, how we want these kids' experience to be in Mesa. And Tim, you got anything you want to add on to that about the parents' code of conduct? Well, basically, I mean, you you pretty much touched on it all. Remember, these are kids, and, and the biggest thing is, like I said, it is just a game, and we're trying to make the, the experience the best for the kids as possible. You know, you don't want to do anything to embarrass em, embarrass your child at the game because, you know, we would hate to have to have parents escorted out uh, for conduct, but we will do it. We will do that. No. You know, and also, we have a side of the parent code of conduct. We have a, a, a code of conduct for the sidelines. What do you say about that? <laughs> if you're not coaching, please don't be on the sideline. We understand it's, it's tempting to come down. We understand there are a lot of parents who um, do things they where where it's photography, where it's videography, things of that nature. And also coaches, um, your alumni players, it's nice that you know they, that they're good to come back to, to team to support the program. But if they're not coaching, we do not need them on the sidelines. Uh, because we need to know, you need to be accountable for everybody that's on your sidelines. So we're asking only coaches, not parents, not, not uh, dads to help out of practice. If dads help out of practice, that's great. Moms help out the chilies in practice, that's great. But if they're not a certified coach, certified master coach, they do not need to be on the sideline. Yeah, and, and, and also what that said is that we can't – we care about who's around your kids. And that's why we go through certification for this, you know, and we will have people on the sideline that, that specialize in first aid, you know, CPR, in case something happened out there. You know, we want to get those cars in from the coaches. But we want to know who's on the sideline. We want to know who the kid's leaving with, who they know, who they come in with, and that's the coach. So we want the coaches to be on the sideline. Then we don't want the parents to get hurt not watching the sideline. We know you want to watch your kid, want to be out there with your kid, but we got no rules and regulations we have to go by. And everything. Okay, so. that's pretty much it for the rule this week. It pretty much uh, ends our show. Uh, don't forget the road show Sunday. It's going to be hype, 3 p.m., Smithville Stadium. Uh,
it do you what I Well, I want you to bring all your kids out, you know, even if you got a few kids that don't play football, bring them out, you know, a good atmosphere, a good family atmosphere. You know, we try to do this, and it's, you know, it's free for you to come out and, and just kind of get to know us. You get to ask me questions. You know, I know sometimes you don't know who running my, so, but, hey, I know. We, we'll be out there to answer all your questions, you know, uh, if you got you know, anything concerning you know, your team or you like or dislike about your team, it's a good time to ask that. It is, it's been fun to see the kids to get the interviews and, and, uh, and the coach talk about their team. And, and then the both fans be there, you know, they, if you, you, know, you got a, a team your kids play on and you got two or three parents there, I guarantee your other team's going to have no four to 50 parents there and they're going to be a little loud. So come out and support your team, not just on Saturday but on Sunday on the road show. All right. So, so, so this week, we have Smith Wheel, St. Joe's, Natchez, and then Canton, Mississippi. So, we you know fun field atmosphere for the for the game, and also you can, uh, like we said, you can order this uh, the video, not just of the game, but even other shows. You can order them, and we'll have it on our website this this week. And I uh, want everybody to keep tuning in because I'm watching. I'm watching. Are you watching?